Hello, and welcome to F YouTube. First up tonight, we have a customer who's unhappy with well-known furniture retailer... Freedom! OK, not that unhappy, but not far off. And I want to say a big F you to Freedom Australia. A couple of years ago, Gabriella paid Freedom Australia about $4,500 for a Dahlia sofa set, which was upholstered with a fabric called Shell Austria. Hmm. Maybe that's why Freedom says the Dahlia has a sophisticated silhouette. Anyway. Approximately two months after getting the sofas, I began to notice the fabric bobbling and peeling. Now, I don't actually think of bobbling as a problem, though that is just a personal opinion. Pilling, on the other hand, which is where small balls of fabric appear on the upholstery, can that be a problem? Huh. Yes, it can. Gabriella says the pilling on her sofa was quite bad. Though it could have been worse. The pilling on the sofa from the Freedom TV ad was so extreme that the presenter actually slid off. In July of 2017, we finally had had enough that we contacted Freedom again. They sent out an independent technician to do a report. And by independent, they mean a specialist contractor with 100% Freedom dependent income. And the technician took a bold stand in support of Freedom. He determined that it was not a warranty issue. Because the thing is, on their website, Freedom says... Temporary pilling can happen with some fabrics. This isn't considered a fault. And Freedom told us the sofa came with this information label. Pilling should not be considered as a fault. Should not be considered a fault, the mind bobbles. But that's exactly what Freedom told Gabriella. It is with regret that we confirm that following an independent site inspection, the pilling is not deemed a manufacturing fault. And this shows, yet again, why the consumer guarantees in the consumer law are superior to a warranty from a manufacturer or a store. With a warranty in a contract, the business can try to just define problems away, like in that Freedom information label. Killing should not be considered as a fault. Fair enough. <sighs> but you can't additional information your way out of the consumer guarantee of acceptable quality, which includes being reasonably durable. The standard is what's reasonable, not what the business says. Sure, wear and tear is inevitable with any product. Actually, wear is, I'm not so sure about tear. But a little bit of pilling won't always be a product failure. And there are ways that you can deal with pilling yourself. There are de-pilling tools and DIY options. Apparently, you can even shave the pills off a sofa fabric. Though I didn't find that very effective. Oh, oh. But Freedom is not free to just say any and all pilling is not their problem. Gabriella thought that the pilling on her couch was a major failure, and plenty of other Freedom customers seem to think the same thing. The pilling was overwhelming. All the cushions were covered Severe in pills. pilling occurred after just three months. But even though Gabriella was a paid-up member of Freedom's customer loyalty program, Freedom did nothing. We will not be taking this claim any further. Freedom! Gabriella didn't give in, though. She complained to Consumer Affairs, because she knew, as another F YouTuber once said... Freedom is not given, it must be won. And eventually, Freedom was defeated. Hooray! Oh, that sounds wrong. Anyway, we were told by Freedom's bobblehead of marketing... There has been a breakdown with our customer service process. Gabriella elected to receive a full refund. So the happy ending to this FU is that Gabriella has had her freedom taken away from her. You can take your beloved sofa too! Our next FU is about Moo. Omar. And John's got some dirt on them. I noticed that Omar Ultimate Powder was more expensive than standard Omar. He's right. $22 per two kilogram box versus 20. Now, that might seem fair enough. After all, Omo Ultimate is meant to be... Omo's most advanced laundry powder formulation ever! What an incredible time to be alive. But, as John points out... Omo Ultimate requires one and a half scoops per wash, whereas regular Omo requires one. Meaning it's more than one and a half times as expensive per wash as regular Omo. And the thing is, both products claim to have built-in pre-treaters, amazing first-time stain removal, and to be recommended by leading machine manufacturers. So I'm curious, is Omo Ultimate the same as regular Omo, only they just want us to use more of it? 
Great question, John. Such a great question, in fact, that we put it to Unilever, the makers of OMO, and they said... OMO Ultimate Laundry Powder has more enzymes and oxygen bleach than our OMO Active Clean Powder. These are the more expensive components, which are the reason for the increased washing efficacy of OMO Ultimate. Hold on a minute. If it's got increased washing efficacy, why do you need to use more of it? Uh. In 2017, Choice tested 109 different types of laundry detergent. OMO Ultimate Front Loader Powder scored 80% and regular OMO Powder scored 79%. So by Choice's measure, OMO Ultimate gives you a 1% better wash, but costs 66% more. That sounds like the ultimate rip-off. It does a bit, doesn't it? Until next week... <sighs> Dingo goth. Until next week... Oh. Until next week... <sighs> Good night.